Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Today I am going to explain the film called The Main Event. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and stay safe. The movie revolves around an 11-year-old boy named Leo from Fallbridge who lives with his dad Steve and maternal grandmother Denise. Leo is passionate about wrestling and he aspires to become a successful WWE wrestler like his role model WWE superstar Kofi Kingston. Leo also has a mother named Rachel but she has disappeared from his life without any explanation. Meanwhile, Leo's father is going through financial hardships and he is currently working as a taxi driver and car mechanic to support the family. One day, Leo rides his bike to school and meets up with his friends Riaz and Caleb. They also appear to be crazy about wrestling. The three then discuss a secret announcement that the WWE is set to make. Riaz, who is passionate about filming, hopes that WWE is set to announce something related to them looking for a new cameraman. The suggestion makes Caleb laugh so Riaz gets back at him by replying that Caleb is laughing because he has no passions of his own. It's then revealed that the school is organizing a talent show and Leo's friends encourage him to sign up for the wrestling competition. However, Leo turns them down as if he feels that he is not strong enough to win. Suddenly, bullies Trevor, Mason and Luke show up. The former signs up for wrestling and bullies Leo for being scared. This attracts the attention of a teacher who reprimands the bullies and sends them to the principal's office. Later at the cafeteria, Leo finds himself staring at his crush Erica and ends up dropping spaghetti on his pants, making a fool out of himself. After school, the bullies confront Leo for getting them in trouble. When he flees, they chase him on their bikes. Leo manages to get away and hide inside a house that's holding an estate sale. The bullies also follow him into the house but the real estate broker chases them away. Meanwhile, Leo finds a mysterious box with a wrestling mask inside in his hideout. The mask smells rancid but Leo is nevertheless mesmerized by it. To his good luck, the real estate broker lets him keep it, making him happy. That night, Leo watches wrestling with Denise. He wishes that he was as strong as Kofi, saying that everything would be so much better. However, Denise tells him that life isn't all about being physically strong. One has to be strong mentally and emotionally. This reminds Leo of his mother as she used to say this all the time. Then, WWE announces that they are set to come to Fallbridge to look for the next NXT superstar. The finalists will square off inside a steel cage and the winner will get an NXT contract along with a $50,000 cash prize. Meanwhile, Steve returns home from work and Leo tries to talk to him about his mother, Rachel. However, Steve changes the topic and walks away. Later, Denise confronts Steve and calls him out for avoiding the Rachel topic around Leo. It's then revealed that Rachel abandoned her family for another man and Steve doesn't want to tell Leo to protect his feelings. Unfortunately, the little boy overhears the conversation. He learns that Steve owes $20,000 to the bank and if he fails to pay back the amount, the family might lose the house. Leo gets upset so he wears the mask he brought home earlier to cheer himself up. Lo and behold, he discovers that it is a magical mask which transforms him. It deepens his voice and gives him super physical strength. He spends all night researching the mask and learns that it is a legendary mask and only a genuinely deserving champion can use its powers. The next day, Trevor and his friends again pick on Leo, so he teaches them a lesson using the mask. This makes the masked boy famous in school, and his crush, Erica also notices him. In the next scene, Leo decides to participate in the NXT auditions and gives himself a wrestling alias, Kid Chaos. At the auditions, he befriends a fellow contestant named Smooth Operator. After the first round of auditions, several contestants including Kid Chaos, Smooth Operator, and an obnoxious wrestler named Samson make the cut. Later, when Leo returns home and tries to sneak into his room through the window, he is caught by Denise and is forced to come clean about the mask and his NXT ambitions. He mentions that he knows about his mother and the loan on Steve's head so wants to help the family by taking part in the NXT. Denise tries to make him understand that he is a kid and that he doesn't have to worry about the loans taken by his father. However, Leo has already made up his mind. After a lot of insisting, he finally convinces his grandma. The next day, Leo summons the courage to talk to Erica using the mask and invites her home for group study. When she arrives, Leo tries to use the mask to transform his personality, but its smell puts Erica off. Therefore, Leo is forced to put it aside and rely on his real personality to talk to her. Later, he advances to the semifinals after winning matches against his opponents. This makes Kid Chaos famous throughout the town, even among Caleb and Luke who are unaware that Kid Chaos is actually Leo. Smooth Operator also makes it to the semi-finals, and he and Leo congratulate each other. The two get to talking and Leo learns that Smooth has been trying to get into wrestling for more than a decade. He reveals that he started training in college and gave several auditions for the WWE but couldn't get signed. 
However, Smooth hasn't lost hope and he is confident that he'll make it this time around. One afternoon, Steve tries to spend time with Leo. However, when the little kid brings up his mother, Steve again gets awkward and changes the topic. Denise again talks to him and advises him not to let the uncomfortable truth about Leo's mother stop him from spending time with his son. Later, Leo meets up with Caleb, Luke and Erica at a diner. The kids talk about the talent show and Leo encourages Erica to showcase her dancing skills. When she expresses her apprehensions about dancing by herself, Leo offers to become her dance partner, much to Caleb and Luke's surprise. Just then, an armed man enters the diner and tries to rob it. Everyone cowers in fear but Leo decides to put on his mask and stop the robber. In the process, he exposes his identity to his friends. Caleb and Luke are amazed while Leo's bravery gives Erica the courage to participate in the talent show. She makes Leo her dance partner, and they spend their evenings practicing their dance routine at Caleb's home. In the NXT, Samson makes it to the finals while Smooth and Kid Chaos go head to head for their spot in the final. Kid Chaos growing popularity starts to bother Samson so the latter's manager Frankie puts an adhesive liquid on his shoes. But despite all odds, our protagonist manages to defeat Smooth and advance to the finals, much to Frankie's dismay. However, Frankie discovers the truth about the mask. Meanwhile, Leo gets carried away by his growing popularity and he ditches Erica's talent show for a media interview. As a result, she is forced to perform alone. Erica butchers the initial part of her routine until Caleb joins her on stage and dances effortlessly, giving her the much-needed courage. It turns out Caleb is passionate about something after all. Leo arrives after the talent show ends and he makes up an excuse for being late. However, he gets called out for lying by Riaz, who saw him spending all evening taking pictures with his fans. Instead of apologizing, Leo doubles down on his behavior which further enraged his friends. In the next scene, he returns home upset, and when Steve tries to talk to him, Leo pushes him away. Seeing this, Denise speaks to Leo, and the latter confesses that he thought the mask would solve all of his problems, but things are only getting worse. Denise calms him down and advises him to talk it out with his friends before things get any worse. The next day, Leo goes to talk to his dad but realizes that Steven has already left for work. Later, he talks to his friends and apologizes for his mistake. The friends accept his apology, and he invites them to his final match. That evening, Frankie speaks to Leo in the locker room and apologizes to him for putting adhesive on his shoes. As the two talk, Samson secretly switches Leo's magical mask with a regular one. Afterwards, Leo puts on his costume and heads for the final match. The game is guest refereed by WWE superstar Sheamus. Leo's idol Kofi Kingston is also in attendance. The match begins and Leo soon realizes that something's wrong when he isn't able to counter any of Samson's attacks. After a while, Samson pulls out the real mask from his pocket, shocking Leo. Samson then tries to put the mask on but it doesn't fit his big head. Frustrated, he throws it up in the air and inadvertently sticks it high up on the cage. Just then, Kid Chaos takes off his fake mask, revealing his identity to the world. Leo then tries to convince Samson against fighting, but the latter continues to attack him. The giant wrestler picks the boy up and throws him high up in the air. Fortunately, Leo manages to grab onto the cage. Referee Sheamus intervenes and orders Samson to back off, but instead gets knocked out. Samson then shakes the cage to make Leo fall down. Meanwhile, Steve returns home and finds the house empty. He helps himself to some food and watches TV to pass time. Soon, he comes across the WWE match and becomes stunned to see his son fighting against a giant wrestler. He immediately rushes to the venue. Steve is upset that his son didn't inform him about it. However, he knows that Leo is passionate about wrestling, so he encourages him. He tells Leo that every wrestler has a weakness, and Samson is possibly afraid of heights. Frankie overhears the conversation and orders Samson to climb up the cage to prove that he's not afraid of anything. Samson follows his orders, but then Leo challenges him to look down while climbing. An overwhelmed Samson obliges and out of fear, he ends up passing out and collapsing on the ground. Meanwhile, Leo grabs hold of his magic mask, but he decides against using it. He then jumps down on Samson, officially winning the match. As everyone celebrates, Leo apologizes to his dad for not telling him about this competition. Steve forgives him and finally comes clean that his mother left for another man. The little boy simply smiles and hugs his dad. In the final scene, Leo wins a $50,000 check and since he can't sign a contract with WWE as an 11-year-old, he asks them to give Smooth an opportunity. The WWE officials agree and tell Leo that when he gets older, there will be a place for him in the organization. Two weeks later, Leo is seen on the school wrestling team. He has gained confidence without the mask and gets to wrestle Trevor with his dad cheering him on from the audience. Thanks for watching. 
Subscribe and hit that like button to help our channel grow. Turn on the notifications so you won't miss any of our new videos.